to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel i'm ashley elizabeth today's makeup look is this gorgeous bright pink in your face winged makeup so santa was kind enough to bring me the beautiful morphe 39a palette to have play with today i thought i'd have a little dip in and have play around this palette is gorgeous the colors i'm sure you've all seen it by now but still the colours are unreal. These spoke to me on another level. So this is what I came up with today using this palette. So if you were lucky enough to get this palette like I was, then and are stuck for ways to use it, then stay tuned and find out how to achieve this look with this palette. So I'm dipping straight into my Morphe 39A palette. I'm going to take this gorgeous orange shade, Vivid. And I'm just going to use that as my transition colour and just pop that down all through the crease patting the colour in and then lightly buffing out that edge using my Morphe, sorry, um, Zoeva 227 brush. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous pink shade, um, Create, and I'm just going to basically put that on top of what I've just done because I wanted it pink and not orange. So I'm just going over keeping it quite rounded at the moment but then I will wing it out so I'm just popping the colour down and then buffing that edge with the previous brush so I still bring a bit of that orange shade into it and then like I said I'm just going to start developing the wings out effect just lightly bringing each colour down right down and then I can just wipe it away later on then I'm going to dip into passion this sort of deeper pink shade and I'm going to focus that on the outer third and then just through the immediate crease as well just to deepen that up slightly and then I'm again winging that same colour out the same as the rest of them I'm just bringing it on the under eye slightly just so I can get the shape of what I want my wing to be properly then I've just cut the lid using my Mac Select cover up and I was going in with a second layer because it weren't as white as I'd like and I was just buffing the edge of that concealer then I'm setting the lid using my Morphe 35B palette and just that white shade at the very top. And he has a watery eye and it ruined it. Then I'm just going to take a touch of my NYX Glitter Glue and just pop that on the centre of the lid, sort of where the white shadow meets the pink shadow. And then I'm going to go over top with the Peaches and Cream Pigment in Starlight, sort of a white glitter sort of pigment. And then just to give a bit more to it, I'm going to go over top with this Kiko Milano Glitter Eyeliner, just to add a bit more glitz and glam to the look. Then I'm just filling in my under eyes using the exact same colours on a little pencil brush, just making sure they all join up nicely and then the wing is all the shape I like. And I'm just cutting away at the unwanted bits of eyeshadow underneath. Popping on some lashes with tweezers, which I find very difficult, and then trying to get my eyelash in so I can curl them all together and now it's time for the face so to prime my face and add a bit of a glow I'm going to go in with this sleek bare kissed illuminator which just makes me look all lovely and sweaty but I like sort of having an illuminator on my skin to create gorgeous glowy skin for foundation I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NW10 and just bouncing that into the skin with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge trying ever so hard to not get it in me hair which is just impossible for concealer i'm going to take my tarte shape tape as always in the shade fair just pop that in all the regular spots the underneath of the eyes between the brows down the nose and the cupid's bow and again just buff that out with my beauty sponge Then for them harder to reach areas, I always go in with the little fluffy brush, just so I don't ruin everything by patting a big blob of foundation on it. To bring some warmth back to my ghostly skin, I'm going to take my YSL Sunkissed Blair Perfector and just pop that on, sort of like a cream, a cream bronzer contour type thing. So I just pop that through the cheekbones, the jawline, across the forehead and then bounce it out with a beauty sponge just to sort of blend the edges. Then to set everything in place I'm going to take my RCMA No Colour Powder on this Peaches and Cream brush 
and just pat that all in to the underneath of the eye and between the brows sort of very centre of the forehead then I'm just patting away the end of that bronzer and I've just took my Morphe highlight and contour sponge and a bit of the powder and I'm just baking underneath my contour line for bronzer I'm taking my MAC mineralized skin finish in medium tan and just drying down the YSL Blair Perfector so putting it in all the same spots while watching TV on my laptop for a bit of contour I'm taking the NYX highlight and contour palette just taking this shade here on this little NARS flat brush I've had this brush for ages and not not really used it for a while but I've, I've started reaching for it again at the moment for blush today I'm taking my Morphe 9N blush palette and just taking this lighter shade here on this little angled contour brush just adding a bit of flush to my cheeks and for highlight of course I'm taking my Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter in glazed donut which is just hands down the best highlighter I have ever ever used so I'm just popping that on the high points of my face just to make sure I, I illuminate then I'm just brushing away my bake we don't want a, a beard for lips I'm taking this bourgeois rouge velvet lipstick I think it's in the shade number three I can't really remember I'll have to list it down below but yeah okay so that is the finished look I have loved creating this look today it's so colorful and especially in these winter months when you need a bit of color so if you enjoyed this video please give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss an upload from me and while you're there turn on the little bell notification so you definitely will never miss an upload from me but yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon bye